Hey guys, Monarch here. It's been a while since I've made a video. Uh, school's been getting to me, but it's almost over, so I should be able to flush out some more videos in the near future. Uh, I've been pretty busy, and for that I'm sorry if I haven't been uploading in a while, but uh, I should be able to upload more frequently now. Um, but I want to talk about this one card that's coming out for Judgment of the Light, which is the set after Tachyon Galaxy. Uh, it's a card that's going to come out for Spellbook slash Prophecy, and uh, it's, I, I guess because of its name, because its name is supposed to be translated to World of Prophecy or the World, it's the last, uh, I, I'm thinking it's going to be the last card uh, Spellbooks get only because it's the last card in the Arcana set, or the Major Arcana. But I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Konami could have something up their sleeve, so we never know. Uh, the card's called Spellbook Sky Knight Toramont. Uh, it's a light spellcaster, level 9 monster, with 2900 attack, 2400 defense. And the card is, uh, when this card is special summoned by the effect of a spellcaster or the effect of a spellbook spell card, you could add two spellbook spell cards from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, during the turn that you activate this effect, you cannot special summon any other monsters. Uh, when you add the spell books to your hand, uh, you can reveal four spell book cards with different names in hand uh, to activate its effect, which is to destroy all cards on the field besides itself. So, like everyone has been saying on YouTube, uh, it's a Judgment Dragon. It literally just blows up the field, just like Judgment Dragon does for uh, Light Swords. Spellbook Sky Knight Toramont does the same thing for spellbooks. Um, I guess the theory behind this with why Konami may have made it is because you, the Prophecy player already pluses hard as hell from Judgment Day, so they already get a whole shit ton of spellbook cards in their hand already, so they're gonna obviously have four cards with different names in their hand already, and if not, we the, the card itself helps out because you just add the two spellbook spell cards from your graveyard anyway, so that counts as the four needed to use its effect. So you just reveal the two you added and any two from your hand and there you go, blow up the field. So because a Prophecy player plus is so hard off of Judgment Day, this card becomes a bit useful. Now, cards that work with this very well and strategies. Um, Temperance and Life are probably the main two cards you might want to use for Toramont only because literally you just send temp you just send temperance to the graveyard because you know you're not going to special summon off of his effect because temperance says you can't special summon anything level five or higher after the card that you're about to summon using it so um pretty much you're already expected to not special summon regardless and Torma already puts it out there that he blows up the field so you wouldn't want anything else out there anyway so you might as well just send that monster to the graveyard to summon Torma by himself blow up the field Plus he's a 29 beater, run shit over. Um, now, Temperance I think would be viable, but the only problem is that it relies for the card to be in the deck to search it out to special summon. So if it's in your hand, you might as well just cry now because you know, you're never gonna get Torma out from your hand unless you use Spellbook of Life, which when you do that, you expect for him to be in the graveyard. And because Judgment Day makes you plus like crazy in your hand already, you can just drop him from your hand, send him to the graveyard, bring him back with Spellbook of Life, and he's already because his effect says that he can also be his effect can also be activated by a Spellbook spell card. It still works. Therefore, you can still use Toramon's effect off of Spellbook of Life, and it's by far the easiest thing in the world because you don't expect it to be in your hand or deck. It's in the one place that really you're not gonna do much with, unless uh, you want to bring back monsters, which of course. Unless you're, you you want to bring back Junon, you bring back Tormont, and there you go. Um, honestly, I'm a little bit like peeved only because um, <laughs> I'm just mad it does not skip time. Like uh, Arcana Force the World, I really wanted it to be a card that skipped time and skipped your opponent's turn, so you could just throw knives at him and just say "fuck you," you can't do anything, and <laughs> just be like "mudada" and shit like that. Uh, but yeah, that's what the card does. Uh, and because Temperance and Life can work so well with its effect and Judgment Day pluses your hand so well, it, it becomes a threat with those, count with those combos. 
but by itself it's not really anything to be worried about so yeah uh i i think the only way to really run sky knight is if you stop running the the judgment day turbo because with the judgment day turbo you're just focusing on getting high priestess out very easily you're just focused on doing that special summoning jogan and special summoning cards like light work and you're just thinning out your deck so you could pop shit set banish shit whatever uh Toramont, i i think maybe you can run it at one in a deck like uh the, the overlords do with tune table and judgment day but it doesn't seem like something that i would recommend running in a deck that would persist to do that that would persist to do what already works which is to plus hard and summon the bitch Junon. um so yeah if there's any other strategy that you can work with sky knight there's the fact of if he comes with if he comes into tcg territory he now can use his, his effect with star hall because star hall is already going to get dumb counters because judgment day because he plays so much spell book spell cards that that shit just racks up in counters and more than one is even more threatful because we all know it's not like tower where it, it relies on your opponent to destroy it it could if you heavy storm for example and you just destroy your star halls you get the plus off of it you get to add uh any spellcaster from your hand equal to the amount of counters on the card when it was destroyed so when you summon toramont you literally just say oh i'm blowing up the whole field oh effect of star halls i get to add uh spell with magician of prophecy to my hand that means that i could add i could just search next turn and not be worried because that's a guaranteed search for secrets and other stuff like that um other cards that may work for Spellbook Sky Knight Toramont are cards like uh, Magical Exemplar. Magical Exemplar, while that is good, it, it's not something that I would really recommend outside of the two that I mentioned before, which was Temperance and Life, only because you're, you're expected to play five spell cards to bring him out. And you can do that in a deck like this, but you're literally aiming to do that as the sole purpose and expecting to summon spellbook sky at night off of judgment day it's not gonna help because you would have to theoretically draw the most broken hand in the world you'd have to draw tune table in your hand already you'd have to find, get, get away with magician into judgment day and already have secrets in your hand you have to already have a plan to get nine nine spell spell cards played on that same turn which is possible if you want to waste your resources so you know wasting your resources to special summon sky knight to blow up the field isn't really something that i would recommend i would say wait until you use life or temperance to bring him out because you already have the spell book spell cards in hand to use his effect plus the the two that you're going to add anyway why would you want to do that when you're going to end up sending when you're going to end up discarding because i believe discarding is the last thing you do before your turn's over so you add two spellbook cards after you've already added nine that's 11 cards in hand you're going to be sending cards to the graveyard when you're done so it's like that recycle that that whole recycling was for nothing because you just sent a whole shit ton of spell book cards back to your graveyard which you're going to have to work on recycling now because you did so much work to bring out this one card which is why i wouldn't recommend summoning him off of judgment day and i wouldn't recommend summoning him off of a uh, magical exemplar because of the amount of spell cards that you have to play in order to get him out through those means so yeah i say summon him through temperance and life summon him summon him through those methods Make sure you have a Star Hall out when he comes out in the TCG, so that way when he blows up the field, you can add a Patel, or Magician, whatever you call him, so you can search again, or whatever monster you need. Because when you do that, that's, I guess, like, the most, to me, I feel like that's optimal enough. Um, but honestly, yeah, that's my, uh, I guess, thoughts on Swellwick Sky Knight. I really thought that it would freeze time, but I guess it's not going to. Uh, oh well. Uh, this is Mark, signing out.